Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk about LDRs and I'm going to show you how to use them, how to wire them and how to code them. So an LDR is a light dependent resistor and it is just that, a resistor. So try not to get confused with sensors um, because although you can actually use these as sensors, it's not really a sensor, it's a resistor. Uh, you can get lux sensors and all this sort of stuff and they are way, way, way better but they are not resistors and this is a resistor. Anyway, so in the darkness, this has a uh, resistance of about 10k, 10 kilo ohms, 10,000 ohms. And in light, in good light, it has a res resistance of approximately 0 ohms. So yeah, it's a resistor which can change depending on light. And that's quite useful. So, for example, if you have those outdoor LEDs, you know, that people stuff in their gardens, um, you know, this could be used there. Because in the, in the light, in the daytime, you don't want your LEDs glowing, so this could uh, help to switch it off. And at night time, when there's no light, you could use it to switch it on. So yeah, it's a cool way of being able to uh, manipulate circuits depending on the amount of light which falls on the LDR. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a microcontroller read from one of these. Um, and I'm actually going to show you how to uh, code it. Uh, it's only very simple code and of course how to wire it up. So the first thing I need to do is show you how the LDR reacts to different amounts of light. So to start with I'll get my multimeter, set it to 20k. Let's connect this up, so there's one, two, and the resistance is 900 ohms. If I put it up to the light, it goes lower. If I put it in the darkness, it goes higher, more resistance. Uh, actually, where's my torch? If I find my torch... Um, oh, there's, there's my phone. Ooh, carrot sticks. Okay, so... I got my phone. Turn the torch on. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. So I put it right up to it. And you can see 40 ohms. Which is great. So that's how it uh, responds, if you like, to different amounts of light. Okay. What next? Okay, so I've shown you the LDR, how light affected it, and the ambient, temp uh, sorry, ambient temperature, the ambient light is such an amount that it means that this, uh, in this light, is around about 1K. So I've got another 1K resistor, and this is a fixed resistor. So we've got a 1K fixed, and we've got 1K in this light. In more light, the resistance goes down. In less light, the resistance goes up. So we've got a fixed and a variable. And I'm going to do something special with these to show you. It's called a voltage divider, but I'll just show you anyway. Let me zoom into this little board. I don't know why these boards go yellow. Uh, I don't think it's even been left in the sun, so whatever. So to start with, the LDR, which I'll just push in uh, there. <coughs> and the 1K resistor, which if I could pick up, there we go, I'll put in here. So right now I've got the LDR and a 1K resistor. So you might be thinking, what on earth am I doing here? Well, I'll show you. So the next thing I need to do <coughs> is add some voltage. So I've got my uh, DC power supply. Of course, you don't need to do this. I'm just showing you. Uh, we'll connect them together. <coughs> and what do we expect that will be happening now? Well, 5 volts comes in here, and this is ground. So what's in the middle? What's in the middle? Well, right now, I suspect that the middle will be 2.5 volts. And I'll just zoom out to show you. So we've got 5 volts coming in. <clears throat> Let's connect ground to ground. Now I'll just connect this to here to show you. This will be 5 volts. Yeah, 4.9 volts or something like that. This this over here in the middle will be 2.5 volts, so it should be somewhere near that. 2.5 volts, you see? Now, if I cover it over, you can see that the voltage decreases. And if I increase the light, the voltage will increase. Now if I can just... Put that over there. It's hard to get the torch right on. But you'll have to take my word for it. If I get the torch right on, it increases, yeah? So now we're getting there. I'll just take this away again. Take all this off. And you can see that this little um, concoction um, will help us a lot. Okay, so time to explain. Um, how does this work? Well, 
let's say we have two 1k resistors and we have a 5 volt here and a ground here and we check this area here in the middle of the two 1k resistors the voltage would be two and a half volts but why it's because if you have a path and voltage is traveling through the path the voltage at any given point which you test will be relative to the amount of uh, resistance which it's already traveled through and which it's got left to travel through in order to get to ground so for example if you add 6 volts and you add a 2k resistor on a 1k resistor and then ground um, two thirds of the voltage would drop after the first resistor and one third of the voltage would drop after the first resistor sorry second resistor and that's because voltage drop is relative to the amount of resistance which it travels through in order to go to ground anyway so why is this relevant well it's relevant because if that's 1k and that's 1k in this ambient light then if I was to measure from ground to here it would be two and a half volts but then what would happen if I shone a really bright torch on there and it becomes zero volts well if it was zero volts it's like a straight wire really and there's no resistance therefore at this point here there would be no voltage drop and there would be five volts and there would be ground so therefore you'd read into the Arduino five volts what about the other way what about if I was to cover that over completely well, if I was to cover it over like that, it would probably be around about 10 to 15k or, or something like that. But whatever it was, um, it would exceed this, which would mean that the voltage here would be uh, minimised. Because there'd be more of a voltage drop going across here. So if this was 10k and this was 1k, you'd potentially have 10 times as much drop here, or, or uh, roughly 10 times as much drop here than here. And therefore, the 5 volts considerable amount will be dropped across this resistor. And when you measure this to this, then the voltage here would be very small in comparison to this. And that's how it works. So essentially, when you want to measure it into an Arduino, you want to measure from here to here. Or in other words, from the, out, well, from the middle here to ground. So it's this voltage we're interested in here. So we want the 5 volts, we want the LDR, we want a point where we can check, and then we want the fixed resistor, and then we want ground. Anyway, I'm going to show you this now in action. I'm just going to wire it up to an Arduino, and we'll go into the code. Right, here we go. So the first thing you want to do is put the LDR in. I've just noticed I've left my voltmeter on. So the LDR, where's 5 volts? We've got 5 volts, and let's go on number 17. So we've got 5 volts. Why is this really blurry? Oh, there we go. 5 volts to there, just off the board, and then we want to go from off the board where this thing is to ground so we want to go just there like that and we also need a wire so let me see if I can get a wire here we go I've got a yellow wire so let's just check what we've got up to now so we've got 5 volts through the LDR then the LDR and the resistor are together and it goes to ground so we want to check the middle, or the voltage in the middle here, so I've left a space, so we'll get a wire in there, and that's going to go to A0. It can actually go to any of the A ones, but I'll choose A0. And what's actually happening here is we're using the ADC, therefore A, analog 0. Anyway, I'm going to go into the code now, and I'll, um, uh, we'll go from there. 